各位同学，大家好，我是宏光科技大学应用英语系蒋小珍，欢迎大家收看今天第八讲的播出。上两讲我们谈了增词法，增加某些字词，今天要谈省略法，就是删除某一些字词。首先，欢迎跟我一块主持节目的王教授。各位同学，大家好，我是东吴大学英文系王安琪。中英翻译的时候，原文有一些字词不一定要在译文当中全部忠实呈现，省略法可以让译文更简单扼要。首先来看 Part One Principles of Translation 翻译原理。省略法呢，我们要遵守省减词。不省减易的原则，也就是二减一还是二。省略法有下面六种：第一是省略冠词，第二省略连缀动词，第三省略代名词，第四省略连接词，第五省略介系词，第六我们省略缀词。省略法基本上还是要遵守不扭曲原文意义的原则，并且顾及译文的语法及表达习惯。以下分别就这六种方式来跟大家举例说明。第一种，省略冠词。I remember his cellular phone number begins with a zero and ends with an eight。初一，我记得他的手机号码是以一个零开头，以一个八结尾。我们省字改译。我记得他的手机号码是以零开头，以八结尾。英文里面这个零的发音是 zero， 它是一个子音 z， 所以呢，我们用不定冠词 a。那么八呢是母音 eight 哈，所以我们用 an。那么翻译的时候，其实这些冠词都可以省略掉，我们不必要强调。An ostrich cannot fly。一只鸵鸟不会飞，这叫字面翻。其实我们要省略翻哈，要翻成鸵鸟不会飞，因为英文里面呢，它的不定冠词 a 或者 an 加上单数名词就表示同类的全体了，所以嗯，就省略的 an 哈，讲鸵鸟就很好了。The honesty of my secretary is beyond doubt。注意，我秘书的那个诚实不容置疑，好像不很中文，我们省字改译，我秘书的诚实不容置疑。当然，这个定冠词的，呃，是指限定我秘书的诚实。可是中文意思已经够清楚了，你不必再翻了。The sun is shining。注意，这个太阳发出光芒，真的很不要这么说哈，你就说太阳发出光芒就好，对不对？可是英文它因为这种行星，像太阳啦、啊、月亮，它都会加冠词的，但中文没有这个语法哈，这种习惯。Susan is playing the violin. 注意一下，苏珊在拉这个小提琴。我们省字改译，苏珊在拉小提琴。英文本身它这种乐器，像小提琴、钢琴，它都要加定冠词的。可翻成中文根本就可以省略。第二种方法是省略连缀动词或是 be 动词。The house he just bought was big and old. 注意。他刚买的那栋房子是大而旧，我们省字改译。他刚买的那栋房子大而旧，这个 was be 动词不必译出来，不会影响原文的意义。Her brother is tall and graceful。注意一下，他的哥哥是高大且优雅，我们省字。他的哥哥高大且优雅，这边 is 也可以省略，才比较像我们道地的中文。The young scientist is very patient and persistent. 注意，年轻的科学家是很有耐心及坚持不懈。我们省字看看，年轻的科学家耐心十足，坚持不懈。这个意思其实省略掉会比较呃简明，比较有力。The president was unapologetic about his approach. 注意，总统对于他的做法是并无歉意的。我们可以省下字看看，总统对于他的做法并无歉意。这个 was 可以省略不易哈，就很清楚。Kevin is optimistic that he will get a bonus this year。注意 
，凯文是感到乐观，觉得自己今年会得到工作奖金。我们省字改译一下，凯文感到乐观，觉得自己今年会得到工作奖金。意思这种 be 动词都可以省略，才像会到地的中文。第三种方法是省略代名词，譬如 last semester。About forty percent of the students who enrolled in my course failed it. 注意，上学期选我这门课的学生约有百分之四十当掉他。这个不是很清楚哈，我们省字改译。上学期选我这门课的学生约有百分之四十被当掉。这个 it 是代表 my course， 译成中文可以省略这个他哈，并且我们改成被动式，被当掉来符合中文。语法的习惯。She was only really happy when she was working with handicapped children. 注意，她只有在帮助残障儿童时，她才真正感到愉快。我们来审一下哈，她只有在帮助残障儿童时，才真正感到愉快。注意一下，这个代名词 she 出现两次哈。其实，如果同一个人做两样动作时候，译文中间你只要。呃，一个就好了，可以省略一个他哈。When they saw you, they disappeared down the corridor. 注意一下，当他们看到你，他们从走廊那头消失了。我们来省字改译。当他们看到你，就从走廊那头消失了。一样的代名词 they 出现两次，省略一个他们。She was very upset because she did not look her best for her job interview. 注意。他非常沮丧，因在他的求职面试时，他并未呈现他的最好一面。听起来很啰嗦哈，所以我们要省字。他非常沮丧，因在求职面试时，并未呈现他最好的一面。里面这个代名词 she 出现两次，索尔格 her 也出现两次。译成中文的时候，太多他还有他的很累赘，我们要用省略法。He is very enthusiastic, and he is seldom hesitant to participate in social activities. 注意，他很热心，而且他对参加社交活动很少会表示迟疑。一样的，我们另外省省看，他很热心，而且对参加社交活动很少会表示迟疑。注意到没有？这个代名词 he 出现两次，同样，我们翻的时候翻一次，他就好了。第四种方法是省略连接词，譬如 "Go straight on," and "You will see the public theater." 注意，一直走，而且你就会看到公共剧院。我们省字翻译一下：一直走，你就会看到公共剧院。这个连接词 "and" 你翻成“而且”，译文哈会觉得拗口，可以省略。Go and finish your homework. 注意，去而且把功课做完。我们来省字改译一下，去把功课做完。哎，这个连接词 and， 你要这边放，而且真的是很累赘哈。我们要来省略。Where there is a will, there is a way. 注意，哪里有意志，哪儿有路，很不像中文。我们省字改译，有志者事竟成。省略这个连接词 where， 并且套用中文现有的成语，当然就更传神了。The early morning skies were clean, but what a brilliant blue! 注意，清晨天空是一片纯净，但是多么鲜明的蓝色啊！我们省掉字来改译，清晨天空是一片纯净，多么鲜明的蓝色啊！这连接词 but 呃表示相反状态，但是这个惊叹句句型本身就已经表示惊讶了，我们不必特别强调但是。As Dale got older, he worked harder. 注意，当戴尔年纪越大，工作越卖力。我们来省字改译一下：戴尔年纪越大，工作越卖力。其实，因为我们连接词 us， 它可以省略，不必要一直翻当当的哈，就当可以，不必翻。第五种方法，省略介系词，譬如 The thief stole five hundred thousand NT dollars in cash. 注意。小偷偷走了五十万元以现金形式，这个真的不像中文，我们要省掉一些字哦。小偷偷走了五十万元现金 ，in cash 原意是以现金形式，但是我们可以直接就译成现金。We should consider 
it our civic duty to vote in every election. 注意，我们应该认为，在每一场选举都去投票是我们的公民责任。其实有点不很好，我们另外省掉字看看。我们应该认为，每一场选举都去投票是我们的公民责任。这个 “in” 就是在的意思啊。其实中文不必译出来这一个介系词。Mr. Wang will be responsible for all the illustrations. 注意，王先生将为所有的插图负责。我们改掉一下字哈，省掉字。王先生将负责所有的插图。Responsible for 固然是为什么负责。但我们直接译成负责就更简单明白。There's no doubt about that. 注意，关于那个是毫无疑问的，我们省掉字改译，那是毫无疑问的。About that， 那译成关于那个很累赘，我们直接译成那就是毫无疑问的，就很简洁了。Please open the window in the car because I feel suffocated. 注意。请开车内的窗户，因我感到窒息，有点点拗口。我们来省字改译，请开车窗，因我感到窒息。Window in the car， 其实译成车内的窗户，太繁琐了哈，直接说车窗就很好了。第六种方法是省略赘词，譬如 It is extremely necessary to see clearly and simply what's behind the problem。注意。必须看清楚的、单纯的问题背后的真相，很拗口，省字改译。必须看清楚问题后面的真相 ，clearly and simply， 只要译成清楚即可。那么可以省略单纯哈，避免这些译文冗长累赘。Fortunately, her husband was safe and sound after the accident. 注意。很幸运的，她丈夫在意外事件后平安无事且健康。哎，很怪怪的哈，省掉一些字来改译。很幸运的，她丈夫在意外事件后平安无事。这上的当然他有健康之意，但这个地方你译出来反而会语义会重复，因为 seven sound 就表示在危难后平安，而且未受到伤害。The suspect may not be lying. In the strict sense of the word, but it's certainly not telling the whole truth. 注意，从这个字严格来说，嫌疑犯或许没有说谎，但是他确实没有说出整个实情。我们来省字改译。严格来说，嫌疑犯或许没有说谎，但是他确实没有说出整个实情。英文这个片语 of the word， 这个 word。指的是前面提过那个 lying 说谎，译文呢可以省略不译这个字哈，避免累赘。I meant to call you, but I'm afraid I forgot. 注意，我本想打电话给你，但是我是害怕我忘了，很不中文，对不对？省字改译，我本想打电话给你，但是恐怕我忘了。片语 I'm afraid 表示对某事感到遗憾。那如果译成我是害怕，显得很奇怪了。我们就恐怕来取代符合中文的语法习惯。I will love you forever and a day. 注意，我会永远又多一天爱你。这个字很奇怪哈，我们来省字改译。我会永远爱你。Forever 已经是表示永远了。这个片语 forever and a day 再加一天，它当时更强调永远。翻译的时候 ，and a day 要省略，就说永远就达意了。那我们综合上面这些例子哈，英文翻译成中文的时候，我们可以考虑省略某一些冠词啊、连缀动词啊、代名词、连接词、介系词，还有这赘词哈。那么省略法的基本概念就是减词不减义，二减了一还是二哈。好，我们来看 Part Two Famous Quotations 中外名言。啊，请同学来试着用今天教的省略法来练习今天的中外名言的翻译。Freedom is a noble thing. 自由成贵，意思省略了。Truth may languish, but can never perish. 真理可衰，不可灭。That but， 我们把它省略了。Beauty is truth. Truth 
beauty， 美即真，真即美，这个 is 也省略掉。好，接着我们是 Part Three Dialogue， 英文绘画。在观看这一段绘画之前，我们先解说绘画当中一些词汇和片语 （vocabulary expressions） 来帮助同学了解内容。Definitely， 肯定的。In that， 由于。Company， 伙伴。Companion， 同伴。Share， 分享。Aesop， 伊索，古希腊寓言作家。Especially， 尤其的。The hare and the tortoise， 龟兔赛跑。Dull， 愚笨的。Burden。重担 ，bread basket， 面包篮 ，anecdote， 轶事 ，spice up the pot， 炒热气氛 ，session， 一场一节一段时间 ，fall term， 秋季学期 ，react， 反应 ，hopefully， 希望的 ，catch on， 理解 ，co-worker， 同事 ，load， 承载 ，campus， 校园 ，shoulder， 承担责任 ，task， 差事挑战。Orientation, 新生训练 Responsibility, 责任 Surroundings, 环境 Youngster, 年轻人 Succeed, 成功 Sentiment, 意见感想 Plane, 计划 High speed rail, 高铁 Route, 路线 Smooth, 顺畅 Look out, 小心 Platform, 月台 Edge, 边缘 Mandarin, 国语好，今天的绘画中提到啊一则有趣的伊索寓言的故事。Definitely one of those interesting words for the week. No doubt about that. In that, it's so simple. Your company or companions as those you share bread with. If only this story about Aesop could become as famous as his others, especially the hare and the tortoise. Especially if we remember how most of his companions laughed at him for so they thought he stole mine. You mean when his boss told him he could take the lightest burden, and he took the heaviest one instead, the breadbasket lettuce. Such little anecdotes are to spice up the pot when we begin our night sessions for the full term later this month. Let's see how our classes react. Hopefully, they'll catch on faster than Aesop's coworkers did. It took their dull minds several days. Maybe longer to realize that his load was lightened by about half once the group stopped for lunch. You were on campus yesterday and the day before, shouldering the task of orientation, weren't you? Yes, I now have that responsibility as well, walking the parents and students through these new surroundings. Let's hope those youngsters succeed over the next four years and beyond. My sentiment exactly. Say the station after next is where we get off. I plan to take the high speed rail at 7:30 p.m. since it stops only once along the route to Taichung. So we can expect a smooth hour-long ride, even if we don't get the first one. Here we are at last. Look out for that gap at the platform edge. I heard the warning in Taiwanese, Mandarin, and English. Definitely one of those interesting words for the week. No doubt about that. In that, it's so simple. Your company or companions as those you share bread with. If only this story about Aesop could become as famous as his others, especially the hare and the tortoise. Especially if we remember how most of his companions laughed at him for so they thought he stole mine. You mean when his boss told him he could take the lightest burden, and he took the heaviest one instead, the breadbasket lettuce? Such little anecdotes are to spice up the pot when we begin our night sessions for the full term later this month. Let's see how our classes react. Hopefully, they'll catch on faster than Aesop's coworkers did. It took their dull minds several days. Maybe longer to realize that his load was lightened by about half once the group stopped for lunch. You were on campus yesterday and the day before, shouldering the task of orientation, weren't you? Yes, I now have that responsibility as well, walking the parents and students 
through these new surroundings. Let's hope those youngsters succeed over the next four years and beyond. My sentiment exactly. Say, the station after next is where we get off. I plan to take the high-speed rail at 7.30 p.m. since it stops only once along the route to Taichung. So, we can expect a smooth hour-long ride, even if we don't get the first one. Here we are at last. Look out for that gap at the platform edge. I heard the warning in Taiwanese, Mandarin, and English. 好，接着我们从刚才的英文绘画里面挑几个 questions 来问同学。Question one: What line of work are these people in? A. Medicine. B. International trade. C. Military. D. Education. D. Education. Question two: How does the second speaker say Aesop's fellow slaves perceived him at first? A. Clever. B. Stupid. C. Weak. D. Strong. B. Stupid. Question three: When does this conversation occur? A. Late morning. B. Mid afternoon. C. Early evening. D. Late evening. C. Early evening. Question four: Where does this dialogue take place? A. Subway. B. School. C. Museum. D. Library. A. Subway. 最后我们来看 Part four. Let's practice. 句型翻译练习。我们从刚才的英文绘画里面挑些句型出来，来做做看翻译练习。例句 ：Definitely one of those interesting words for the week。绝对是这星期最精彩的单字之一。One of 什么什么之一。那些人只是站在那边之中，没有一个人提供帮助。Those people who were just standing there, and not one of them offered to help. Those people were just standing there, and not one of them offered to help. 我们看哪个错？第一个，你 who 放进去就是子句，没有主要句子了哈，不好。我们另外翻翻看。None of those bystanders would lend a hand. 好，我们看 bystander 就旁边站的人哈。它的雕塑是展览中最棒的四座之一。我们提示一下 ，dioso sculptures， 那么展览就是 exhibition。His was one of the best four sculptures in the exhibition. His was one of the best four sculptures in the exhibition. 看哪个错？第一个，同学 one of 的时候后面一定要复数之中嘛，哈，一定要复数之中一个。来，另外翻翻看。His carving ranked among the top four. On display. 好，雕塑 carving 也可以前四名 top four 哈。好，下面例句 Hopefully, they'll catch on faster than Aesop's co-workers did. 希望他们能比伊索的同事们更快理解。我们来学理解是 catch on。这是本很深奥的书，但他会了解的。我们提示深奥是 profound. This is a profound book. And he will catch on. This is a profound book, but he will catch on. 我们看哪一个对？啊，第一个错哈。那但是应该用 but， 不是 and 哈。另外翻翻看。This tome calls for deep thinking, but he will understand it. Tome 是说很大本的书哈。那么 deep thinking 也是很深奥的意思。我不能理解教授说的话。I can't catch on to what it was. The professor was saying, "I can't catch on what it was." The professor was saying. 我们看哪一个错了？第二个错了。Catch on to 这个 to 不能省哈。另外翻翻看。I still fail to grasp the professor's words. 好，我们看 grasp 是抓住、理解的意思。例句 ：It took their dull minds several days, maybe longer, to realize that his load was lightened. By about half, once the group stopped for lunch, 花了好几天，甚至更长，他们那些傻脑袋才能理解。当他们停下来午餐时，他就把他的重担减轻了一半。Stop for， 我们看说为了什么停下来？我在商店前停下来买些饮料。I stopped in the store for some drinks. I stopped at the store for some drinks. 好，商店前应该是 at 啊，不是 in 哈
แล้วมันเรียกอะไรแฟนๆแข่ง I bought some beverages from a store along the way ค่ะมันแข่ง drinks 跟 beverage 都是一样饮料的意思你为何不停下来喝杯茶 Why don't you stop for a glass of tea Why don't you stop for a cup of tea 哪边错了第一个我们说一杯茶是 a cup of tea A glass， 我们多说 a glass of milk 啊，很少说 a cup of a glass of tea 哈。来，另外翻翻看。Can you pause long enough to drink some tea？ 好，停下来可以讲 pause， 对不对？例句 ：I plan to take the high-speed rail at 7:30 p.m. 我计划搭七点三十分的高铁。Plan to 是计划从事什么事情。我爸爸计划六十五岁退休。My father is planning to retire at 65. My father is planning to retire at 65. 好，我们看一下哪个错了。这个同学注意 ，plan, P-L-A-N， 他要加 I-N-G 的时候要重复 double N 哈，要两个 N。好，另外翻翻看。My dad intends to retire on or after his 65th birthday. 好 ，intends 有什么企图哈 ？Retire 是退休。好，我们下面看看，他计划在这儿停留六星期。He is planning to stay in here for six weeks. He is planning to stay here for six weeks. 我们看哪个错？对 ，planning to to 后面要加不定词是原形 ，stay 不能 ing。来，另外翻翻看。He says he will remain in this place for forty-two days. 好 ，stay 跟 remain 一样，停留在哪里？哈。例句 ：So we can expect a smooth hour-long ride, even if we don't get the first one. 所以我们可以期待一个很顺畅、约一小时的旅途，纵使我们没搭到上一班。Even if 就即使、纵使的意思。纵使你搭计程车，你还是会错过婚礼。Even if you take a taxi, you will still miss the wedding. Even if you will take a taxi, you will still miss the wedding. 我们看哪个错？第二个错。同学，你要注意英文里面哈，当主要句子 you will 是过去未来式的时候，那你这个 even if 这子句不能用 will， 要用现在简单式代替未来式哈。所以 will 错了。我们另外翻翻看。Even a cab won't reach the wedding on time. 好，其实 taxi 计程车，外国人喜欢讲 cab 哈。他决定要买一栋度假别墅，纵使要花上很多钱。度假别墅是 country house. He is determined to buy a country house, even if he has to spend a lot of monies. He is determined to buy a country house, even if he has to spend a lot of money. 看哪个错？第一个，同学 ，money 不可以加 s 哦，虽然很多钱哈。好，我们另外翻翻看。He has resolved to purchase a house. In the countryside, regardless of cost. 好，我们来看一下这个 resolve， 这个就是说有决心，有这个定力要干什么。其实同学，我们只会用 buy 哈。那另一个字你可以学叫 purchase， 也是很好的字，买东西。A house in the countryside 就是 country 这个 house 这个乡间一个别墅嘛。那另一个片语你一定要学会叫 regardless of 什么东西。这边是不管多少钱 ，regardless of cost。好，那我们今天就先学到这里。下次我们要学词语义引申翻译法，这个方法非常有趣，因为翻译的时候不要照具体来翻，你可以翻得很抽象，很有想象，那你的文采就显现出来了。我们先讲到这里，下回见，拜拜，拜拜。<音樂>